there uh, out into the high desert where we're looking at some very windy conditions and this is why we're seeing some elevated fire danger too uh, for our desert communities and our mountain communities too due to some of these winds. Uh, so here where this fire bur is burning you can see right off that 138 and 210th street uh, it's moving fairly quickly. It's we have winds out of the southwest and the west at about 30 to 40 miles per hour. Relative humidity not terrible at 30 uh, percent. It's still dry out there though and uh, we are dealing with these gusts. So just to the north of this uh, a little further north in Kern County, we're seeing some much stronger gusts uh, right there between about 50 to 65 miles per hour. Uh, now, initially, we were expecting to already see some blowing dust out here for the Antelope Valley just due to the winds, but we're talking uh, even lower visibility in some areas where we're seeing quite a bit of smoke from this fire, too. Uh, so we'll continue to keep you updated on that as we pan out just a little bit. And you can see where we're seeing all these wind advisories in place through Friday night. So we still have another day to deal with some winds. And you can see they're just to the north of the high desert area uh, out into Kern County where we're dealing with that high wind warning and some even stronger winds. Uh, so that fire smoke is going to be moving to the north and the northeast due to those winds coming out of the south and southwest. All right, a live view from Palmdale right now. A little bit hazy out there. Can't see too much from this view. Temperature fairly cool, though, 64 degrees uh, and in the low 50s where that fire is burning. So temperatures uh, fairly cool out there. And you can see here on this wide view from our winds just on that Kern County line where we're seeing those stronger gusts up to about 50 to 60 miles per hour. But you can see these winds are really mostly for our desert and mountain communities. Uh, Fraser Park, you're getting some strong gusts there. Uh, same for Gorman. And as we take you out to Wrightwood, about 20 mile per hour winds out into Banning and down into Hemet and even Temecula where we're seeing some of those breezy conditions. Uh, so those winds will last through at least tomorrow night. Okay, temperatures are still cool out there. They were about 58 degrees for Lancaster, so we are seeing some 50s uh, out into some of those high desert areas. A little bit warmer in Palmdale at about 64. Still dealing with a little bit of a marine layer in some spots. So some partly cloudy skies, but some sunshine in the areas of San Fernando Valley, Santa Clarita Valley, and Hawthorne. You're looking at about 64 degrees. So temperatures are going to continue to cool off the next couple days. Uh, this is great. This low out of the Pacific Northwest is going to continue to drop down. It's going to cool us off and also bring some potential for some drizzle or even some light showers for our mountain communities. Uh, that's starting as early as late Friday into Saturday afternoon, where you can see another potential there to see some light showers for our mountains. Okay, our seven days, Los Angeles, Orange County, breezy conditions the next few days. We continue to cool off as we head into Saturday. Chances to see a little bit of drizzle. Then we're going to see those temperatures warm back up as we head into next week. Valleys, Inland Empire, cooler temperatures today, pretty mild temperatures in the mid-70s the next few days. And then we bump it right back up to 80 degrees on Sunday, and we get closer to 90 degrees on Monday. So we warm up pretty quickly. We'll enjoy the next few days. At beaches, mid-60s, that deep marine layer is going to last through at least Saturday, bringing potential to see some drizzle then we'll see 70s return by Monday mountains gusty conditions for those mountain communities we have those wind advisories in place temperatures continue to drop to 50 degrees tomorrow overnight lows down into the 20s and the high desert where we're dealing with those elevated fire conditions Gusts up to 50 miles per hour, blowing dust now also dealing with some smoke. Right, temperatures pretty mild over Palmdale in the low 70s. Giovanna, back to you. Okay, Brianna, thank you. So how's it looking for that fire? Yeah, we're tracking some winds. So we're still dealing with some winds in the desert communities, the mountain communities. And really the area we're focusing on right now is up in the Antelope Valley and toward the high desert in the Fairmont area where we have the Weevil fire burning. Uh, so we've been focusing on this area up here. You can see some of those winds really coming in through the west. Uh, but most of our mountain and desert communities seem some of these strong gusts and then just above in that Kern County line we're seeing some much stronger winds about 50 to 65 miles per hour they're under a high wind warning uh, but I want to take you here this is where this fire is it's right off the 138 it started right off about 210th street uh, and so we're seeing winds out of the west right now at about 30 to 40 miles per hour gusts up to about 43 miles per hour temperatures getting closer to about 60 degrees and relative humidity uh, at about 30 uh, percent and so these winds are going to be shifting later to the southwest so right now westerly winds is all moving out to the east and blowing towards the 14. And so we were already talking about having some low visibility there in the high desert due to the winds and blowing dust. Now we're also going to be dealing with some smoke. So a uh, little bit of a tough air day there today for the Antelope Valley, but we'll continue to keep you posted on this and uh, continue to follow those conditions there. But they're under wind advisory uh, through tomorrow night. Okay, so we're still dealing with some partly cloudy skies out there and with the marine layer. So some somewhat cool temperatures. Uh, Lancaster at about 59 degrees still there. So it's a little bit cool up there in that area where I 
just showed you. 64 in Palmdale and about 70 degrees in Los Angeles. Fullerton 68 and Chino Hills at about 65 degrees. Uh, so this is what we're looking forward to. The Pacific Northwest, this low, uh, it's going to be moving down and dropping down a little bit. It's going to cool our temperatures. It's also going to bring some more moisture our way, which we need, but it's really just going to result in chances of drizzle and then some light showers for our mountain communities. That's going to be happening. Best chance uh, for showers in the mountain communities by tomorrow afternoon. Better chance to see some drizzle for most of us Saturday and more mountain showers possible on Saturday as well. So Los Angeles, Orange County, we're in the low 70s today. Tomorrow temperature is pretty mild. Then we drop it down on Saturday. That's going to be the coolest day and then we start to warm it right back up. Sunday will still be mild and then as we head into Monday, we get up to 80 degrees, so we warm back up quite quickly. Valleys and Inland Empire, it's going to be cooler today, but some mild temperatures really nice in the mid 70s. Chances of morning drizzle tomorrow, Saturday, and then we have 80 degrees returning on Sunday and take a look at Monday. We're getting close to 90, so uh, we really start to heat back up pretty quickly there. Beaches, mid 60s the next few days, uh, about three to six footers out there. We also have some dangerous rip currents, so be safe if you're headed out to the coastal communities. Then as we head into next week, we will see some low 70s return, but this weekend is going to be pretty cool along the coastline. Mountains, 59 degrees today. We get down to 50 tomorrow. We're dealing with some gusty conditions still through the first half of the weekend. Mountain showers possible tomorrow and Saturday. Best chance uh, late tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night. Same goes for Saturday. Those overnight lows dropping to the 20s, and then we start to warm it back up, getting closer to 70 by next Monday. High desert blowing dust, and now also dealing with smoke today. Gusts up to about 50 miles per hour. Temperatures not too bad in the low 70s there, and then we cool off even more tomorrow, but still dealing with some winds the next few days, and then we have some 80s returning by next Sunday. All right, I'll send it back to you. Okay, Brianna, thank you. Actress.